You can only create what you can imagine. So uh, we are here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and next to me there's Mary. She's an expert for um, mobile at Visa, and um, you have a very interesting claim here that you are wanting to transform the way mobile business, mobile commerce is done. How do you do that? What do Visa, you offer? Visa, Visa for the past um, the past 50 years has innovated and really changed the way that people pay. pay. Um, has played a leadership role in the market in transforming the way that, that consumers pay for goods and services. And we see mobile as a technology that can can really potentially change and revolutionize the way that consumers pay um, today and moving forward. So we're looking at developing a number of services. Um, one of the uh, foundations of our Visa mobile platform um, is a product called Visa PayWave, which okay. is contactless um, and essentially it enables consumers to use a near-field communications-enabled mobile phone and a Visa application embedded on the SIM card to waive and pay for purchases in retail environments. So um, that infrastructure is being rolled out for cards, um, and we recognize that consumers take their mobile phones with them wherever they go. They never leave home without it. Um, and so we're looking at how we can integrate that capability into the phone to add enhanced convenience for, for, for consumers. So that's one way that we're, okay. we're changing the way that people pay. And we've got about 15 trials um, globally of this technology, really testing it out, understanding consumer acceptance and adoption of the services, and also just trying to understand um, what are some of the, the barriers to, to rolling it out. Partnering with the wireless industry, Visa was named um, the G one of the GSMA's uh, mobile money partners this week at the conference. Um, so a really big focus on, on mobile for us. So contactless in the physical world um, is one way that we're enabling mobile payments, but we're also looking at how we can use that same Visa application on the phone to also enable person-to-person -person money transfer. So I owe you five euros for lunch, and I need to pay you, and I go into the same application that enables me to make purchases in the physical world to transfer money from one Visa account to another. Um, so really trying to make um, easy, convenient services that are highly secure for consumers. So you said you have a couple of uh, trials at, at the moment. Um, are you also active in, in Asia, like in Japan, or were New Fleet Communications yes, already present? Yes, my colleagues in, in Visa Asia Pacific actually look after a number of those services in, in Japan. And um, Asia has been a market that has adopted and embraced this technology for a number of years. So just in terms of our contactless programs in Asia, Taiwan is a, is a huge market. Uh, there are a number of, of trials and services being rolled out in Malaysia, in Thailand, in China. And then, of course, we have the, the pioneers of this technology, Entity Docomo, who have already been offering services in Japan for a number of years. The, the value of Visa is that we bring global interoperability. Um, okay. So really being able to use payment products across the globe. And the same promise will be true with mobile. It's going to take us a number of years to get there. Yeah. Uh, but really what we're trying to do is to engineer solutions for consumers that will enable that global interoperability that people can expect of the Visa brand. Okay. And talking about time frames, how long do you think will it take, actually? Or do you have to... The technology is there. Uh, you show a couple of examples here at the booth. But how long will it take, actually, to be There's in the market? There's a lot that needs to come together for, for, this, for, for these types of propositions to take off. Um, the acceptance infrastructure is of enormous importance. So really having the, the readers and the terminals in place at a wide variety of locations and retailers around the world. And that's happening, but it's going to take time to, to, build, to build that acceptance infrastructure up. Um, another thing that really needs to come together is, um, is mobile phones. So we have a couple of models that will be launched on the market later this year, early next year. But really, it's about enabling the capability in a wide range of devices that meet the consumer's needs, meet the consumer's handset needs, so that I'm not constrained by choosing one particular device over another just because it has NFC integrated in it, in it or not. So those are two big hurdles okay. uh, that need to be overcome. And I'd say a third hurdle is, is, is the business case. And partnerships that need to be put in place to bring these services to market. And Visa is actively engaged with all of the major
major handset manufacturers, with mobile operators, and of course with our issuing banks okay. to try to build the market and bring those parties together. And when you talk to these, uh, your cooperation partners and uh, distribution channels, you said it will probably be rolled out in 2010 uh, or like can you give me a number like when I do you think it will be <laughs> I wish I could it's like a two year time frame or five year time frame what I we're think a lot, about? The, a lot of the industry analysts and the handset manufacturers are saying that it's, it will probably be between two and five years okay. um, you know like a lot of these services we'll see early commercial services on the market in smaller numbers and then gradually gradually we'll ramp up but there's, there's still a lot of work to be done um, you know ago, a lot of the analysts were saying that by 2010, 50% of handsets that would be shipped would have NFC technology incorporated in them. We're in 2009 and we're not seeing that just yet. So, you know, it's, it, it's really hard to say, but uh, there is a lot of momentum in the market and there are lots of pilots going on globally. And certainly the investment that Visa is making is, is helping to bring that, that date a little bit forward. Okay. So what's your special topic you're working on, especially within the team in London? I'm working, I'm responsible for mobile product development within the team in London, and um, I'm leading up uh, the development of the business requirements for new products and services in conjunction with my colleagues in Visa, in Visa Inc. and the Visa team globally. Um, so there's a big focus on near field communications and contactless, uh, but also this year we'll be looking to um, engineer person-to-person -person money transfer solutions. Okay. Um, so my focus is really about not only the partnerships that we need to have in place, but also what are the, what are the business and consumer needs that we need to incorporate into the products and services that we're building. Okay, great. It was very interesting to learn more Thank about you. what you're doing. Thank you very much. Thanks. Join the conversation at mocom2020.com. 